Tumblr.com slash vein. All right, so uh, Leet, start us up. So that will be our team. Tumblr.com slash vein. I, I, I don't think so. We don't do links as our team names. We don't do links as our team names. All right, so how many lives on is a little bit long. Let me try to cut it down. By doing that, there it just fits into that little corner. May have to change it for the mid-in-game actuality, but um, so we we are uh, jumping into our, our third game of the day. Some familiar faces, some new faces. League of Wrecking, welcome. You're new. Edgar the Pug, welcome as well. Husband, Dark Flay, me. You were in the last game, but welcome back. That last Legion as well. So Blitzcrank immediately banned out by Aura Newman is saying we do not want this champion. They banned it out last time. They're going to ban it out again this time. Good luck, everyone. Your score leader. Thank you. Uh, you. Welcome back. Welcome back. It's been a while since you've been on. So this is going to be the last game of the stream. Very likely. Not 100% positive, but very likely. We shall see. We shall see where things are going. My throat is just starting to get a little bit scratchy, and we're not doing a tournament. We're just kind of shot casting customs, so we're we're just kind of just kind of playing it by ear. Ha 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 ha! Ear, my ear is popping all over the place. Um, fizz bad up. I like that. The last game that fizz was just absolutely. No, uh, I wasn't decimating the mid lane, but definitely was doing quite well. And so they say, you know what? We are not interested in having this champion come back up and be something we have to deal with again. Or Newman waiting for the opportunity to, to jump into... Oh, that's going to be a Nami ban. She is very strong, played a lot in the uh, current uh, League of Legends championship games um, in the world, so if you guys have been watching those. Um, she's actually quite heavily picked, um, as well as Caitlyn is quite heavily picked. There's the Graves ban as well. I think Apex Predators just doesn't like those two champions because of the last game. <laughs> Both of those champions were the two that did the best in it. So, gonna go ahead and ban those out. Not gonna let them be played again. And a vein ban. So, heavy, heavy focus from Honey Hunters on this bottom lane. Um, they want to make sure that they get the right champions, as well as a Morgana ban um, from Harambe Lives On. So, a lot of bans in that bottom lane, but it looks like Caitlyn is gonna be picked up. Um, or Newman wants that again. Played a very good Caitlyn last game. Um, had some trouble in the mid game. A lot of opportunities that people just kind of found her on her own and were able to take her out, but Jinder Dali gonna go ahead and lock in the Sona support, so looking for uh, those crescendos to deal as much uh, group stun as possible, and uh, we'll see if uh, Honey Hunters gives them those opportunities by grouping. Um, Apex Predator are gonna be pick, picking up the Ari as well, so a pretty quick picks here by these people, they kind of know what they're doing, so hey, there's my Graves ban, yeah, yeah, Snowy, you, you know what would happen. Um, Apex Predator wanted that, that Ari, so pretty quick picks here, people kind of know what the champions they, they want. Um, Ari is very strong in that mid lane if, if played against the, the, the right champion, and um, that ultimate allowing her to just kind of jump around, kind of get those three mini flashes, uh, is really, really, really powerful, so... Why are you rolling your eyes at me? My girlfriend just rolled her eyes at me. She she doesn't like my hat. She thinks it's stupid. You can come sit here and listen if you want. You'll have no idea what's going on if that's what you want. But um, I'm actually gonna take a second and I'm gonna go give her a hug. I'll be right back. It's a, a kind of thing. So back to back to champion picking. <clears throat> um, <laughs> Leet did go ahead and pick up the Trundle. I don't think that's support. That's a top lane Trundle. It was considering the Singe, but last game the Singe was not that great. Um, they decided instead to go with the Trundle. Last Legion picking up that Zillion against the Ari in the mid lane. No, that's a Zillion support. So we're seeing the very uncommon but sometimes played Zillion support in the bottom lane. So interesting to see how it combines with the Caitlyn. Dark Flamey, you're gonna go ahead, instead of playing support, decide to play the Syndra in the mid lane. Syndra is excruciatingly powerful, it is played a lot, um, especially because that ultimate will cha 
AC no matter how far you go, and will take you down. And Husband takes the Evelyn in the jungle. Um, so that's going to be a pretty good combo for, especially if they have that uh, Evelyn go a little bit on the tanky side. You have her for the initiation, Trundle for the follow-up tank, and then just a lot of CC damage coming out from the Syndra as well as the... Uh, zillion. So there's just a lot of opportunity for so many different things being thrown at the enemy team. Um, over on Harambe Lives On, we have uh, the Yasuo pickup, League of Wrecking, taking that one in the top lane. Um, Dankus the Mimas with the Jungle Yi, not very often seen, very good at taking down small squishy targets, which could be that Caitlyn and Zillion. So the bottom lane needs to be very, very safe. And then Edgar the Pug picking up um, the, well, brain fart for a second. Kindred, but that's not for the jungle. That is a Kindred ADC. Not something very often seen is that Kindred ADC in that bottom lane, but I can see how that ultimate would be useful, especially against a Zillion, um, that the ult does allow her to become uh, invincible for a period of time, not taking any damage, as well as will heal at the end of it. So there's uh, some potential, so was oh last game was bad for me everyone everyone has that so oh, oh. so with three minutes remaining if you guys are on watching this right now and you guys have a team that you're supporting a friend that you're supporting a girlfriend or just a, a sibling that you want to show show it out to send it to him over texting skype and send the the stream url and shout out your uh, support for your team team honey hunters or team harambe lives on as we get into this uh, this game, it's bad for me. Have fun. Yeah, they, the goal is to to always have fun, um, no matter what the situation is going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out a bunch of these messages. That's the the number one thing that happens when I do shoutcasting is I get messaged by everybody trying to trying to tell me things on on the game. So uh, let's talk about these team compositions a little bit here. So uh, Honey Hunters has a generally decent overall collection here. Um, they're, they're 80 carry, they have a little bit of an odd support, um, doesn't give any, uh, Team SKT, there you go, Team SKT isn't even playing! Uh, personally, I'm Team TSM, TSM all the way, even though they lost the first game, I need to watch whether they won the second game or not, um, but they, they, they messed up hard, uh, I, I'm just kinda sad, so, one of these games expected to go up on YouTube, uh, I would like for them to be on YouTube before the end of Sunday night, but I can't promise that, so... Um, sometime early next week, they should be on YouTube um, for your viewing pleasure, uh, if, you, if you'd like to watch those. So, thank you for asking that question. Um, and uh, Harambe Lives On has a very squishy team overall. They don't really carry any heavy tanks, so they're looking for just a lot of quick kills. Um, a lot of finding people out where they shouldn't be out, and maybe just one full 5v5 team fight with a perfect Sona Crescendo. Um, but they don't really have anyone that synergizes well with a Yasuo ultimate either, so um, the Last Whisper is just going to have to be something that he does himself with his own uh, Tornado knockup. So very chaotic choices, I think, for Harambe Lives On, but all those champions are in their own right extremely powerful, so if they can play each champion individually with a very high caliber of skill, they should be able to do very well with them. But with 44 seconds remaining, let's run through the champions and the players. Aura Newman playing uh, Caitlyn in the bottom lane AD carry role. Um, 1 3 3 7, bad A's taking Trundle in the top lane. Last Legion with the uh, Zillion in the bottom lane support. Dark Flay, me taking Syndra in the mid lane, and Husband playing Evelyn in the jungle. Over on Red Team, Rambe Lives On, we have Apex Predator, welcome back, playing the Ari in the mid lane. Uh, Ginger de Elite taking the Sona in the bottom lane support. League of Wrecking with the top lane, Yasua. Dankus the Mimus with the Yi in the jungle, and Edgar the Pug, 1 1 2 4, with the bottom lane, 80 carry Kindred, which is very, very unusual. I'm excited to see how that goes up against a Caitlyn.
All right, so we got some pretty cool skins coming out here. Safecracker Evelyn, as well as the Junkyard Trundle and Headhunter Caitlyn. Um, so a lot of cool skins there. Foxfire Ari, DJ Sona, and they're uh, right into the game. So that's going to be jumping straight into it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and position everybody in their correct lanes. Caitlyn and uh, Kindred in those bottom lane 80 carry rules. Whoop, flashlight's falling over. Um, support is going to be that Zillion versus the Sona. And in the top lane, we've got Yasua versus Trundle, junglers of Evelyn and Yi, mid laners, uh, Ari and Syndra. And we want to pause this music that's going on in the background with a lot of weird drops, drip, drop, drip, drop. So Ari, Apex Predator, coming out aggressive here in the mid lane, looking for maybe opportunity to throw out a Q, or maybe just dancing in circles here. Oh, there's that Q we were looking for. Not gonna, not gonna land too much damage. Everyone just kind of hanging out there, using up some mana. League of Wrecking going to be going and playing a safe, you know, ward here, checking this this tri bush, making sure that there's no invades. But they don't know is that behind them already, Evelyn actually they invaded already. She's got a nice deep ward in there, so they're going to see that he is not starting red. He's instead going to be starting all the way down at the Gromp, um, which means that I think uh, Evelyn is going to be starting blue buff. No, she's going to be starting. Um, Grop as well, so they're gonna be on different sides of the uh, jungle when they finish that. Maybe there's some pings there by blue buff, so it might be that Evelyn is not starting Grump, but instead just gonna go ahead and start with Ah, so she's gonna be doing a sneaky blue take and then going into the enemy team's red jungle and taking the red buff and trying to do it before Yi gets there and maybe even potentially pick up a kill on the um, Yi. We'll see if that happens. He is going to go ahead and pick up that uh, Gromp as the bottom lane heads towards their lane. Evelyn not taking much damage, got very strong leashes by both the mid laner and the top laner. So husband picking up a nice blue buff there. Edgar the Pug showing up the lane now. Um, not much of a, of a XP advantage there. There's going to be a little bit of extra push by Caitlyn, but they should be able to keep things even. Nice little poke there from Caitlyn. Edgar the Pug already taking down to half health there. Leet in that top lane, going to be taking a little bit of damage from League of Wrecking, but Trundle is very tanky. Oh, he's got a lot of minions on him. The damage is real. That might be it. League of Wrecking flashes. First to flash the flash by Leet. Is he going to be able to get in the kill he wants? No. So both flashes burned in the top laners. Nice dodge there on that tornado. So Evelyn picks up... No, Yi picked up the uh, blue buff. Evelyn is waiting in that top bush. Not going to see the... Uh, I'm actually going to check that real quick there. Is, no, she is taking the red buff. Okay, I wanted to see if she's taking the red buff or just waiting for Yi to show up. But she is going to take that red buff. So double buffs to her. Lee in that top lane. Oh, very low health. First blood going over to Yasuo. So got to watch those minions. That means had done a ton of damage. Egg the Pug has been healed up by that Sona. No real surprise there. That is kind of the thing that Sona does. However, Caitlyn's going to continue to poke away, which is going to eat away at Sona's mana. Dark Play taking a bit of damage in that mid lane. Needs to be really safe from those Ari's Qs. So uh, it's going to be a little bit of poke there from the Zillion. He's got to get those double bombs out, though. League of Wrecking wants it to kill, but Evelyn's up here to help out. It's going to be some damage there. Red Buff is burning away, and he's going to go down. Husband picking that up with Leap picking up a nice assist in that top lane. So kill for kill. In that top lane, the Zillion did get there. Sorry, Yasuo did get that first blood. I got poked down to half health there. Once again, in that bottom lane. But Sona is just going to keep spamming those skills and healing Edgar back up. I actually, though, wouldn't be using those potions if I was Edgar. But there's a nice little bit of damage from the. Um, our woman taking a lot of damage there. Down to a quarter health there. Gonna have to play real safe there. Last Legion also eating a bunch of cookies. Edgar the Pug gonna flash away from that one. There's the minion chasing in with the bomb, maybe a little bit of damage there. Got to be on the safe side. Sona using a heal, but at very first rank, that heal is not super effective. Caitlyn gonna get a nice little headshot, but still taking a lot of poke damage from that Sona. Edgar walking away from those double bombs, the last Legion. His mana is getting burned pretty, pretty fast. Zillion support is the best support. Hey, I like a Zillion support that's really good, but last Legion not landing quite as many uh, bombs as I would like. And it's kind of using them to do a little bit of um, zoning, but it's not very effective. Um, and that may be just Edgar the Pug playing some really good movement, walking around. It is down on health though, so Sona going to try to continue to spam out those heals. Yeah, there's a little bit more damage there. Nice! Great stun there, that's what I'm talking about. It is not quite going to land, but Edgar the Pug 
healed up by Sona. Caitlyn not in range, would rather take the minions. Does have a nice 24 to 11 lead on Edgar the Pug. One more hit, might be enough. Ah, the flash by Zillion to get the exhaust down. And that's going to be uh, Last Legion picking up the kill. But even so, some great action in that bottom lane. Caitlyn now uh, twice the farm of Kindred, which is going to be really good for the later game. So two kills to one, little bit of advantage so far for blue team. That can always change pretty quickly. Apex Predator taking a little bit of damage in the mid lane. Kindred back up now, level three to Caitlyn's level four. So is already starting off quite down. We'll see what Caitlyn's first buy is. She may not actually buy anything at all. Has uh, 1,200 in the bank, so maybe wait until she gets that 1,350 to get a BF sword. But Darkplay in the mid lane may be able to go to be taken down there in the top lane. League of Wrecking is going to get the tornado up and just back off. So it looks like Cinder did survive that ignite. Um, very low health, but did pop, a, I think, a potion to be able to keep herself alive. Ari, very low mana in the mid lane, needs to be safe. Evelyn coming around the side, may look for a gank or may just defend this tower. Looks like she will just defend the tower, so make sure that Ari doesn't get in with free harass on it. Lee coming in here looking for a little bit of damage, just bites right through the shield. I like it. Uh, whack away, there's the nice pillar of filth. Oh, the damage is super heavy. Lee backing off is to going for not a tank route, but instead with that Doran's Blade, a full damage route. Last Legion kind of on the run now, needs to be safe. Caitlyn is not there to help out. Caitlyn did back and get that BF Sword just like I thought. Um, didn't buy a potion, which I'm a little bit surprised by because she's got 80 gold in her bank, but... A little bit of uh, crit coming out here from that Yasuo in the top lane with the gloves. Yi's also got that for the jungle. He hasn't really been too effective so far. I guess waiting until he hits level 6, so... I got the pug avoiding a little bit of that bomb there going in onto Aura Newman. However, the last Legion, so much damage with that BF sword. Caitlyn takes him out immediately, and that is a second kill right over. Uh, no, the Zillion picked up that kill as well. Zillion taking all these kills, man. KSing, kill steal away. Apex the Predator getting a nice charm on Dark Flame Me, but it's going to be stunned up immediately as well. The two APs going back and forth, both at level 6. The Ari's going to be using her ult now. The Syndrus was not able to take it out, and that's going to be Dark Flame going down. And uh, Edgar the Pug has disconnected. Hopefully this connection just doesn't last very long. Lee going to be able to just tank up everything that Yasuo has thrown out there. Has a bit of a farm lead now. 20 farm over the Yasuo. Continuing to do really nicely. However, that Ari is going to eventually become a problem if she gets fed. Same kind of a situation but opposite in the mid lane is that 48 farm to 28. That's a 20 farm lead in the mid lane. The flash burn by Yasuo in the top lane. But Trundle hasn't. However, Yi's up here now to party. Leet on the run. Is he able to get away from that? Immediately goes in to last of wrecking, but that's going to be a tornado knockup. He wants to finish off. He does the flash. Is it going to be enough? Trying to heal as much as possible with that ultimate. However, turning on Diasu, realizing he's not going to be able to do it, and goes down. Yi picking up that one kill. Thank us, the Mimus. In the top lane. Or, um, Edgar did reconnect, which is really, really good. Or Newman taking a little bit of poke damage from the Ari, just trying to get this turret down. Wants to get that first turret gold bonus. Evelyn looked to potentially gank in the top lane, but instead is going to go right back into the jungle and clear Yi's red buff. So, continuing to invade those buffs is really good. There's the teleport in that top lane for Yasuo. Got a little bit of uh, gold from the assist and wants to continue to expand that lead. 0-2 oh, now, that Trundle. However, I believe both times... No, okay, the first time he went down was just in a straight 1v1. Um, but the second time, definitely needed the help of Master Yi to be able to uh, be taken down. Up time! What is up time? Make Zillion great again. Oh, in the bottom lane, Aura Newman. There's the ult from Zillion. Very low health. That is Caitlyn trying to get in there before it goes down. However, may not be able to be dead. Oh, it is going to be taken out. However, Zillion picks up the third kill of the game. Caitlyn finally picking up one on the Sona. So that was very nice of that Ignite by Kindred um, to, to kind of burn through that ultimate by Last Legion. Um, before it goes down, so Zillion now going to be taking up some farm in that bottom lane. That's going to be a lot of damage onto Dark Flame. Me, is he going to be able to get out of that one? Nice ultimate. There's Evelyn here to help out as well. The flash expert. No, the flash into the wall by husband. The chase is on. They just got double buffs. No, the blue buff just went down. The red buff as well, ticking away. Dinkus the Mimus now here as well. Husband going to take some damage onto Dinkus the Mimus. He's going to be jumped on. Dark Flame off to the side though. Might be able to stun him in. That's a great kill there. The charm from Ari not going to be able to do much, and she backs off from that one. So nice turnaround there on that Evelyn picking up a kill on the Yi. Um, great from Cinder to come back and be a part of that fight. 
in the top lane. Lee continues to just push in. His, he really doesn't care so much about those deaths as long as he continues to get his farm. And he has still doubled the farm of Yasuo and expanding that at every route. And the bottom lane, Shinji the Elite, went back once again. 0-1-1. Oh, one, and one. Not a crazy uh, crazy effect on this game. Kindred has gone down three games, but now level six might be able to throw down those crescendos to stun both members of blue team in that bottom lane. Can I in our clippers in the bottom if you'd like? Just start with you. Last Legion taking a bit of poke damage there, gonna speed himself up and immediately throw a double bomb onto Edgar. That might be the kill. Oh, it is gonna be Last Legion picking that up. Caitlyn getting a nice assist in that bottom lane. Husband taking a red buff, shouldn't have too much trouble with that, even though Loha just has to smite. There she goes, getting that health back. Seven kills to four so far. Blue team slowly pulling into the lead. 3k gold, that's getting pretty significant, especially at 10 minutes on. And a lot of that gold is simply in farm. Double the farm for Evelyn, double the farm for um, Trundle, or almost double the farm. And uh, way over in farm for the Caitlyn Kindred. Very focused on getting the damage down on the enemy champions and not the farm, but also problematically because she um, is having some disconnection issues, which is just really, really bad. So it looks like Blue Team is having quite a good game. Okay, I haven't been able to take down this bottom lane turret just yet. Lots of things there to be safe in the bottom lane. Ari was just seen roaming through the river. May still be headed towards that bottom lane. That's going to be Cinder trying to follow up. Evelyn coming here to hang out as well. Yi down in the bottom lane on top of this. So it could be a 4v4 we see in that bottom lane. League of Wrecking taking a bit of damage still, jumping back and forth. Lee taking a lot of minion damage, but really, at the end of the day, it just doesn't care. It's going to heal a little bit right back up. So I think the meme is taking a bit of damage from those bombs. Oh, this double stun. That is going to be some good damage. Is it going to be enough? There's a crescendo. Last Legion may go down. Throws down the ultimate on himself. Ace in the hole. You're just going to hit Caitlyn in the back. Or sorry, um, Sona in the back as she tries to back off from that. Last Legion ultimate nicely used to keep himself alive. They want to push in on this turret. However, are they going to be able to uh, take it down before Yi or something else returns? Nope, Yi's just going to hang out here and heal himself up. Jundili also here, but that means that Evelyn's still running around in the jungle. They may be able to do a little bit of poke damage. I'm coming around the back side here. May want to push in this tower as well. Nice AoE damage, keeping Yi on the lower side. Waiting for the opportunity to engage. There's the bomb that might be able to take Yi out. Last stage taking a lot of damage from that turret. No, he survives the sliver of health. He is going to be recalling. Caitlyn kind of wants to jump in on this, but nope, just going to grab the farm. And Yi does back safely with very, very little health. League of Wrecking now on the run. Lee coming in, doing a little bit of damage. Is this going to be a pillar of filthy? He does go ahead and use the last Whisper, mostly as kind of an evasive form, trying to get as much damage as possible. Lee just doesn't even care, chasing him down. There's the flash, not going to flash in. Play it on the safe side, just in case he comes up. Learn for his lesson from the last time. And that's Yasuo backing off. Again, still having trouble with that farm. Lee might... Oh, he does! Stops the recall very nicely, keeping him in lane for a little bit longer even though Trundle does have the advantage, so that may be more minions. Lost Dark Flame, he flashes over the wall, but no! One of the last little uh, Spirit Fires from Ari finishes it off, and uh, doubling up the Caitlyn and Evelyn take out the Drake. League of Wrecking sticking around, just trying to get a last little bit of farm pillar filled, not the direction that Lee wanted. Still gonna try to be giving up. Oh, the damage is real, and Lee just chops! <laughs> oh, that's sad. Dashes in for a minion the wrong way and just gets immediately taken out by Lee. Yi coming in that top lane, uh, kind of apprehensive about this. Not sure if he really wants to engage in this, but here he goes. He's going to be jumping in, trying to do what damage he can. However, it is going to be Lee that just beats him down. He's got a big old club and says, I'll take you one way or another. It doesn't matter how fast you are. There's only one of me and no CC for you. Last Legion gonna throw out a bomb, looking for a little bit of damage on Apex Predator. Not quite gonna land. League of Wrecking now getting what farm he can while Trundle is out of the lane. Three members in the mid lane as that bottom turret did go down. Or Newman wants to get the damage on the turret, but Apex Predator, nice, nice uh, wave clear. However, did get taken down to about half health there, so he's gonna have to play on the safe side. He's struggling to keep his farm as Evelyn continues to just roam in and take it away a bit by bit. Be getting some chomp damage down. He just slowly beats down this Yasuo little by little by little, whittles his health down. 
Ari continuing to wave through in the mid lane. Caitlyn finally able to get just a touch of poke damage, one shot at a time on this turret per wave. Sona here to help out a little bit as well. Kindred still AFK, not able to be a part of the game, which is making it a little bit of difficulty for a red team as their AD carry is missing. Hopefully we'll come back before the game is over. Maybe just having connection issues, not sure. Lee just immediately clears that war, but there's the stun onto Renewman. That's going to be the ultimate from uh, Yasu, or sorry, first from um, Zillion. The damage everywhere. Syndra picking up the Yeet, and then the ultimate from Zillion did get proc, and so Caitlyn is back up and alive. Evelyn picking up a kill on Sona. Damage on Apex Predator, not quite there. The charm did land on Dark Flame. That may be Syndra going down. Whoever does get out of that one, a nice barrier. Going to catch the Apex Predator on the run. Ace in the hole going to chase down an Newman. Picks up another kill, and now they turn on to the tower. They're just going to be poking it down and taking it up. Lots of recalls as well. Two members saying, all right, we're headed out of here. Evelyn heads back into the jungle, leaving Aura Newman to finish off the tower, get all of the tower XP and gold, and then head back to the base. Aura Newman may, may, may be taking tower shot there. What? Wow. Okay. So that was that. Was that. Uh, maybe a little bit of too fast uh, recalls. Everybody leaving. Uh, should have stuck around just a little bit longer to help take out the tower. Now, Caitlyn is alone in the mid lane. Yi chasing in now with Sona. However, Zillion and Cinder are back. Big wrecking in the top lane. Going to be taking a little bit of damage. Trundle trying to get what damage he can down. Taking a bit of harass from the tower as well. So down to half health there. There's the last whisper from Yasuo trying to catch him underneath the tower. Trundle goes in. Is it going to be enough? Just beats him down with the ultimate as well. Finishing him off. And now moving in, should be able to clear this top turret. The tower, the damage is beating him up so much. Looks like he will be forced to recall in that top lane. In the mid lane, Caitlyn still looking at continuing to harass away. They did get that tower finally. Seems to be on blue team side a little bit apprehensive as to what lane to go into next. Personally, I would say the red team needs to kind of group together and push that top lane, kill, kill that trundle, and get that top lane turret down but they have lost their turret in the meantime of indecision. Blue team also a little bit indecisive as to where to go next. Um, if I was playing the game, I would probably say group and push top with a very strong trundle, three and two with the Triforce, but they may not agree with me and instead try to do something else. So a lot of gold on that trundle as he's backing. He's got 1,300 gold. Well, just got dropped down, but 6,000 for a lot of the members of uh, Honey Hunters, as well, while um, Harambe lives on, is still in the uh, 4,000 and 3,000 gold area, so a um, lot of gold advantage, almost 8k gold lead for Honey Hunters, um, just across the board. Dankus the Mimus headed towards the mid lane trying to defend, can help out a little bit with that wave clear, with that Q, however it's going to take a bomb on the head. As he speeds his way off to make sure that another one doesn't hit, but that is some serious damage. Evelyn's here though, wants that kill, maybe we'll be able to get it. No! The crescendo, yes, does get it down. And that's gonna be a nice zillion all keeping her alive, but that means it's not there for Caitlyn. Last Legion gonna be going down. Yasuo coming to party as well. Husband on the run. Dark Flay me now running as well. Not that fast, but that's a nice charm. And that should be Cinder going down as well. The wind wall, beautifully placed, just to make sure that none of her abilities went through and hit anybody. Caitlyn just running straight to the bot lane to farm it out is maybe just going to go ahead and recall down there. A lot of red team members headed back towards the mid lane, now Yasuo headed back towards the top lane. This trundle is just going to keep pushing all day long. 50 farm ahead of the Yasuo, so not quite as much of a lead as the early game, but uh, still pretty strong. Yasuo are going to be continuing to just try to clear the farm as best as possible, but now at least underneath the tower taking a lot of damage. A nice knock up straight into the charm. That might be the trundle going down and Ari. Picks up the kill in that top lane, shutting that trundle down after he pushed so hard. Did finally, finally get taken out. Now there's pings for the Rift Herald. Probably going to be given over to Yi. Ping saying, no, nah, don't worry about it. Not worth it as well. Husband picking up the uh, Gromp. Is going to be walking by and checking out. Would have seen them working on the Rift Herald if they had tried to take it. But instead, there's just going to be some wards thrown around. So... It's a little alert. Yi knows that uh, Evelyn is around here somewhere. Did not see her though, so... League of Wrecking now getting what farm he can in the top lane while Trundle is out. Looks like he headed towards the... Uh, no! That's going to be Caitlyn and Zillion in that bot lane taking up the Mountain Drake. Um, Caitlyn giving it over to Zillion to go ahead and tank as Zillion is a support. Nope! Ruman 
kind of coming back in, just bouncing it back and forth, bouncing it back and forth. Thank us, the meme is going to be picking up that red buff. But here's Evelyn, going to find him immediately, jump on him. Is it going to be enough? There's the smite as well. He tries to turn it back, but it might be too little too late. And Evelyn picks up the kill on Yi. 15 and 8. Blue team is still extremely strong in this game, finding those picks that they like. Our Newman now almost with an Infinity Edge finish on top of that uh, Blast Fire Cannon is going to be doing a lot of damage from a great distance away. Dark Play getting a nice stun on Apex Predator. Kayla getting a little shot. That's going to be immediately jumping in from Yasuo over the wall. Zillion uses the ultimate on himself, but that means that Kaylin is going to be going down. Zillion up, it is just going to not be enough. And Yasuo picks up a triple kill, I believe. At least a double kill, because Zillion already got the last kill. Okay, that makes more sense. Um, and the Rift Herald was abandoned as it returned and Baron showed up, so Trundle headed back towards that top lane just to farm it again, Evelyn picking up the blue buff, so caught out of position, blue team in the mid lane, that's what I said about them being squishy targets, is that, um, that was all the squishy team members, and the damage from Yasuo just so strong, able to pick each one off with the help of Ari and Sona support. Has been now double buffs recalling, but that's going to be a lot of members headed towards that top lane. Will Trundle be able to escape? He does have a pink ward down, so he knows whether or not... No, his red team has a pink ward down. He actually just put down a blue ward. Ye coming in here. Not sure about engaging on that one. Does look like they're going to let the Trundle go. He doesn't want to go back. He just finished recalling, so he's kind of waiting it out to see where different champions head to. Kaylin headed towards that bottom lane, just to be clear, not that farm. He's trying to get it to slowly push back, but as I said, Blue Team kind of a little lost as to what direction to go in next, and a lot of kind of shuffling around, trying to figure out where they can get a small advantage here, small advantage there, which is allowing um, Red Team to kind of slowly start to catch back up in gold. We see a couple 7,000s now, um, 5,000 on the Yi as well, so they're slowly building up a lot of that, that gold advantage back up there in the indecision of blue team not wanting to engage too hard in any specific lane. And they know that Kindred is not in the game. That's going to be Ori Newman immediately getting blasted by the RA. Ginger the Elite getting picking up that kill. Credit for it. Last Legion trying to throw down a ward there, but Apex Predator are going to be looking for some damage. Lots of flashes burn as everyone's trying to avoid little bits of damage here and there. Last Legion... Throwing out a couple of bombs, but that was a great pick. Nice stun there, but still no follow-up because um, the Caitlyn is down. As Trundle continues to push the top lane, that's about the only thing that the blue team has going for them is the Trundle just continues to push, 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 push all day long. Has been picking up the red buff in the bottom lane, just trying to make sure that the jungle is cleared out as much as possible. Pings on the Trundle to go ahead and back off as there are many members of red team around there. He is going to head through the jungle, see himself a Yi, but not engaged just yet. There aren't any wards to see him in there. He is going to find League of Wrecking though, Last Legion here as well, going to throw down the uh, bomb onto Elite's head. So, not going to hit anybody, but Ginger to Elite, going to be walking away from that one. Nice charm onto Elite, he might be going down, there's a crescendo immediately, a lot of spells used to take the Trundle out. But they do get him, however, Dark Play here now showing up, that's a great double stun! The ultimate onto Yasuo picks up one, and now turning onto the Sona, she's trying to heal herself up, it looks like she's going to be able to escape from that with a little bit of speed boost, Aura Newman here to hang out as well. Can she get the damage down onto the Ari? Just a little bit of poke there, Ari backing off from that one. They may be able to push down this top lane turret, there's so many wards from Red Team in the jungle, but they do not, they, they're not there to capitalize on them. And that is going to be, I believe, Or Newman picking up that tower. It's very low health there. Ari not quite going to land too much damage onto Dark Play yet. And Blue Team picks up another turret in the mid lane. So thanks to uh, Trundle's heavy pushing, some decision was made for them after that uh, crazy engage. And again, this is a 4v5, which means Red Team's actually doing a really good job of holding their own. They are continuing to, to lose these towers and lose situations and lose fights, but um, they are holding pretty well, um, even though Blue Team does continue to, to lead successfully. So pushing into the mid lane, Zillion picks that one up. That's been being worked on by minions for a while. Last Legion, very low health, does not ult himself. Very carefully holds on to that for a situation which he knows he's going to need it. He coming in the bottom lane to help grab that farm. So I think Red Team really needs to group as four and just push down an objective and make use of the damage that Yasuo can put out um, just because he's such a strong champion right now. Even four, four, and five, he can just put out so much damage and several members of blue team besides the Trundle are extremely squishy. So nice stand there onto Dankus. They cannot be caught out like this. He may be going down. He does. Dark Flamey picks him up with the last bit of ticking damage. So... 
Um, just you cannot be caught out like that, especially in your own jungle when you've lost all of your exterior turrets. That is just not the way to go, and uh, they're not playing safe. Need to have those wards down and need to be on the safe side. So League of Wrecking coming in here might be able to finish off Zillion. No, he gets the ultimate down. He is safe for the moment. The League of Wrecking maybe coming back in here might have the tornado up available. He's, he's going to get stunned after a double knockup. Not going to be able to finish anybody off just yet. They do take down the Zillion. Already picking up that one before Yasuo goes down. Lee immediately sees that ward place and goes ahead and clears it. That's nice reaction. Not a lot of people do that. So with Yasuo down, the strongest member of red team, it does look like Honey Hunters is going to head towards the Baron Pit. They do have a ward on this though. Um, Harambe lives on, so they know that this is going to be going down, but may not... Oh, I'm messing it up. Messing everything up. Uh, may not be able to do much about it. So now waiting up to the side, waiting for a crescendo to try to steal. It's going to flash over the wall, and it's going to be Evelyn picking up the Baron, so did not get it. But the Apex Predator jumping in, that is going to be Husband going ahead and Zanya saying, our room completely untouched. One more shot might be able to do it. Is Ace in the hole is not available for Caitlyn. She does flash the wall, might be able to get vision. There's Ace in the hole, sees the... Oh, the Zanya's from Apex Predator coming in. Is there a... Um, Pillar of Peacemaker? Nope, just an auto-attack waiting for that. So nice there, engaged by red team. They just barely pick up the uh, Baron before moving in to finish off several members of blue team that engaged on there. Sorry, doing a little bit of uh, moving stuff around on the stream. So there we go. Back to it. Um, 21 kills to 14. Blue team, 10,000 gold in the lead. Red team, uh, Harambe loves on, is going to need just an absolute perfect engage to be able to win this game, especially now with a Baron buff on blue team. Or Newman headed down towards the Drake. They want to get as many possible buffs before they move in to try to finish off the base. Ari, 5, 2, and 6 with his Zanya's Hourglass. Very nice, but I don't think it was wise of her to use that Zanya's Hourglass when the Ace in the Hole was coming in because there were so many members of the blue team already around. It was so unlucky that she was able to escape from that one. Um, but probably should have headed up instead of heading down towards the enemy team's base. Dragonkiss looking for an engage. It's going to jump right over the ultimate from uh, Syndra. It's still going to go down, though. However, that might be Syndra being finished off. Ari picking up that one. Orinu and pushing this bot lane turret. So just a distraction in the mid lane. Sona trying to get what damage she can down. Last Legion helping out with those bombs to clear the minion wave. Orinu takes some damage. Ari coming in here looking for a last Legion. He may have to ult himself. That's going to be a crescendo finishing off the, um, him as well as Orinu and going down on top of it. And now chasing out onto Husband. This might be the engage they're looking for. Beautiful kills back and forth. Wind wall goes down as well. Yasuo picks up another kill on Evelyn. Trundle, the only one left alive. So it's going to be a 2v2 here. Nice tornado immediately. Lead jumping in. Is he going to be able to? He's chasing down. Lead of wrecking. So low health. Flashes away. Lead chasing in. Oh, the damage is just so real. Now chasing in onto Ginger the Elite. May get both of them. His damage is just so massive. Building the, the true damage dealer that he is. Oh, does not able to chase down the Sona. And goes ahead and starts to recall. So they definitely got the the kills they were looking for initially, though. Um, Yasuo falling down to Trundle is just really unfortunate as well. And Ari did die in the mix of all of that chaos. But again, as I said, still holding decently well. Has dropped it back to only an 8,000 gold lead rather than the 10,000 that was earlier. Um, they just need to capitalize off of some of those. And they always have minions pushing against them. And that just makes it so difficult to head towards a turret and get a turret. They have only been able to clear the mid turret of um, Honey Hunters this entire game. So... Um, very, very hard to say. The like blue team is going to be trying to be picked up by, uh, blue buff trying to be picked up by blue team, but you gotta let it reset. When it starts to walk back, it just heals way, way too much for that to happen. Ginger Dilly, then kind of responding. Beat going in there, Pillow Filth not quite going to land on anybody, but Ginger Dilly, so low health, does get slowed down. And that's going to be her going down. Frozen Mallet proc finally landing on her. However, Yasuo is going to take a damage onto the Trundle. He throws down the ultimate, but no! That's the Wombo combo. Beautiful job there. Or Newman with the ultimate from Zillion as well, but isn't even close to going down. Only still at half health. Dark play me clearing up the uh, Raptor camps. 
headed towards the top lane. Looks like that's the lane that uh, Honey Hunters wants to push, kind of doing a 3 2 0 um, push composition here with the Trundle as the tank. Or Newman decided, you know what, I want to hang out with the tank as much as possible, especially while the Zillion Ultimate's down. Last season, taking a little bit of damage. All right, trying to get what damage you can onto Dark Play Me. Not quite going to land. And this tower is gone. Looks like the inhibitor should be quick to follow as well while the minions are pushing in the mid wave. Sona coming up here as well. Ari trying to do what she can. Not going to be able to do all that much. Doesn't have a Luden's Echo yet, which I'm a little bit surprised by. But Ordo might take so much damage. Maybe going down there as one bar of health, but gets the shot in. And that's going to be finishing off the, the Yi as well. But no, that's going to be ah, uh, League of Wrecking finding um, Caitlyn, finishing her off. Dark Flamey wants even more kills. Now pushing in. Maybe going down there. Is it going to be enough? Yes! <laughs> Gotta respect the Ari Orb return. It's going to fly past you and then come right back and finish you from behind. Apex Predator trying to get damage on to Lee. Does he care? The charm is on him. He's taking damage from the turrets. That's going to be Apex Predator chasing in. Can't she take down the Trundle? No, the Zillion Ultimate is on him. Apex Predator on the run now. Does finish him off, but he's going to pop right back up with that Zillion Ultimate. Now continuing on the run. Leet wants to get in on this. She does have the Rylite's Crystal Scepter, so it's going to have that kite potential. There's a Trundle for the slow. Throws down a ward. There's a nice charm. The damage is continuing. Leet finally says, maybe I'm going to back off in this. But no, Avalon comes in. The double flash. Trundle picks up the kill on that one. So, Evelyn flashes in for almost no reason, but Danka sees that Evelyn's very little help, wants to get in, flashes right past, but no, Evelyn is way too strong. Currently was 6 and 0. Oh, it's Ginger. Clip, clip, clip. Clicks up all of those little traps, just clearing them in the, in the base, one at a time. So, <laughs> red team definitely struggling now with the inhibitor down. It looks like the game is going to be a very, very hard fought battle to get back up as they are now 12,000 gold behind. Baron's going to be up in another minute. The Infernal Drake is going to be up in another minute and 20 seconds. So they are going to have to just have a perfect team fight if they want to get back into this game. And even then, Blue Team is still doing a beautiful job of keeping all lanes pushing directly into their base. The bot lane is pushing in Red Team's favor currently, and that is going to slowly build into a very nice wave. But it looks like Trundle may be going down there to clear that and say nope to that strategy. 46 seconds on the Baron. And why do I feel like Honey Hunters is just going to stand around here and, and wait for Baron to show up? I feel like we're going to have about 30 seconds of people just waiting for, for Baron. Here comes the wait game. Cinder headed towards the top lane. Leet hanging out in that bot lane as well, so... Looks like blue team is now finally going to be backing off, headed towards that barren pit, just continuing to, to chill and wait. Cinder was looking to see if anybody was able to be caught out, but Caitlyn building up a wall of those traps, making sure that nobody's able to uh, go in. We still have another seven seconds before the Baron finally shows up. Look at him slither through all of those holes. Zillion going to go ahead and toss a bomb now. It'll pop up as soon as the Baron shows up. And there they go, engaging on the Baron. Lots of damage, should go down pretty quick. Red team has noted what they are doing. Not going to be able to get there in time though to take it down. And this might be the game, because if they engage on this, however, Husband is pretty low health. That might be, oh, Caitlyn did finish it off. However, League of Wrecking going to go in, finishes off the Syndra. That's actually huge. There's a nice shot onto Aura Newman. Sorry, charm onto Aura Newman. Julico coming in from the sideline. Dinkus the Mimas trying to run away is going to be immediately taken out. Nothing to do there. Ginger the Elite. There's a charm and an exhaust onto the Trundle. Red team is full retreat here. Husband coming in from the sideline. So flashing in. Ginger the Elite going down. Ace in the hole. Not able to complete. So it is all up to Elite. The, his engage at the very end of that. Picking up those kills may mean the game is going to be over. He doesn't even care about this turret right now. He's just going to go in and smash it down. Move in onto the inhibitor. That's going to be a second inhibitor, and this might actually be the game. Things happen. These connections are completely, aren't completely preventable. Nope. Last Legion, very low health. Is he going to ult himself to save for Aura Newman? Lee just goes in straight underneath the tower. Caitlyn trying to get around it, but no, the last breath onto Caitlyn finishes him off as well. Lee now taking a lot of damage. This is going to be Zinza or Yasuo doing what he does best. One, two, three. Ari picking up a kill now. Yi chasing in onto Husband, but that is a very, very, very fast Evelyn with Ghost as well. Evelyn may be able to get out of this one. No, it doesn't have ghosts. That's just, that's just movement speed. <whistles> Husband picking up blue buff before heading out. So double inhibitors down for red team. Looks like they are going to have 
Even worse time. Even worse time. He also did pick up some more kills, but between him and Ari, it is just the two of them that are going to try to do everything that they can. 112 Yi having a very difficult time. It might be a 113 Yi. There's the ultimate from Syndra, and that is the case. There is a top lane inhibitor that's going to be respawning soon, so they might only have to deal with one inhibitor down, but it's just the slow bleed. Blue team continuing to take kills left and right. 35 kills to 25. Now 13,000 gold in the lead, dragging that gold little by little by little. Genova and A. Wish Kinder had an AFK. It was fun, though. I think we all kind of know what the uh, end result of this game is going to be, even though I'm always, always intrigued for surprise twists and turns. Leet now chasing in. The dra Drake is up. Mountain Drake slowly being taken down. Oren Newman around the corner just going to jump over the wall. Take out that Drake. It's just going to walk right past it. There's that. Move, click, move, click, move, click. Now they have the Mountain Drake. They have the Baron. The Baron won't last all that much longer. It's uh, pretty close to being finished. Maybe a quarter of the way left. But League of Wrecking now just going to take so much damage. They're going to be troubled upping on Leet. Is it going to be enough? No. They cannot touch this trundle. Down to half health. Doesn't care. Windwall's not going to stop anything. Evelyn coming in as Caitlyn was pushing in the bottom lane. That's going to be Ari as well. Lots of damage down. The trundle did finally get picked off. But Cinder picking up the Yasua or Newman now chasing down onto Apex Predator. They need to get a little bit closer for just one or two auto attacks. She turns to fight and that's Or Newman picking up another kill. Now turning on to Ginger the Elite. Nice Zanyas by Dark Flake. Keeps him alive a little bit. One more hit. Caitlyn tries to get the jump in. Ace in the hole. And that's not going to finish it off as uh, just, he slipped behind. I think Edgar maybe? No, just healed too much on the base. So nice down there. On to Ginger though. Myala Crescendo takes down. No. No. A nice ultimate by Zillion. Keeps Syndra alive. And Ornuman Newman just getting a little bit of damage. The fantasy points are real. Can you take people down in the Texas tour? And it looks like Aelin will be able to do that. Yee, very low help. Does go down as well. The stun too strong. And Dark Flame picks up that kill. And that is game. Blue team picking up a win in a unfortunate 4v5, but good game, well played by both teams, especially the Yasua and Ari on uh, Harambe Lives On, and then that Trundle just playing a massive, massive game for uh, Honey Hunters on the blue team's side, uh, 11, 6, and 9, just crushing it with a very strong Cinder as well. So, Jake doesn't want to know either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so you guys were good. You guys were good. You didn't spoil the game. So, you know, you can, yeah, it's, it's not terrible if you say the game is over. But definitely don't say who won the game. Because that's we that's that's a no-no. That's a no-no. But good games, guys. Um, I actually am going to head out because my throat is really starting to kind of scratch. And I don't want to push it too far. So, um, thank you all for, for watching and playing. Uh, I think there's a whole, a whole slew of you guys. Yeah, up to 12 of you guys watching right now. So, uh, maybe we could do this again in the future sometime. We'll see. We're just having a, having a blast. So uh, thank you for watching. And as always, shoutcasting stream. Find your games on YouTube at a later point in time. And I will see you guys later. Peace out. Teemo hats for the win.